Hey there, you homemakers, cooks, and homesteaders. I have the scoop on some dirty little secrets. Some myths that we need to debunk right now. I have the information. Let's debunk these myths and bust them wide open right now to the truth. Some of these cleaning myths, they can leave irreversible damage and be very costly. So let's find better ways to clean our home. Let's get started. Number one, our cast iron pans. It is believed that you can't wash them with soap. I did a whole video on cast iron pans and how to wash them and how to season them. Believe it or not, you can wash it with a little soap. And then you can heat it up with some oil. And sometimes these oils, in a scientific way, the composition of the oil renders it impervious to the soap. Yes. Myth number two, that our appliances are self-cleaning. Who said that? Who told us that? Let me tell you. Our dishwashers, our washing machines, they need routine cleaning and maintenance to prevent long-term damage from occurring. And also making sure that our appliances don't pose a safety risk. We need to clean these things. This next one, guys, I debated with this for a while. I thought about it because I used to always use newspaper to clean my windows. Ah, they do really good and they have always did really good sometimes you have to go over it several times that's the bad part about it but usually they're kind of leaving our windows streak free so using newspapers to clean windows we have better ways to do that now so we can just use a squeegee or a microfiber cloth and we can clean our glass surfaces so much easier than going round and round with the newspaper the next thing is washing our cars with dish soap. Yep, I've actually done it. I did a homemade wash job right here at home or had someone do a homemade wash job right here at home, one of my sons. But let me tell you, dish soap can strip away the car's protective wax layer and that makes the paint job vulnerable to scratches, dings, and nicks. So instead, we want to use the car wash soap. That formulated mix that's intended, especially for our car, to keep that clear coat and wax on that paint job. Our next myth is always wash clothes in cold water. Mm, I actually do this. I do it all the time. But I'll tell you, if someone has been sick, your clothes are best to be washed and warm or hot water to get those heavily sold items, uh, your white clothing, and for those people that have been sick, you want to wash it in warm or hot water. Ooh, here we go. This is gonna be an ouch on this one. Another thing that I use a lot, again, vinegar can clean everything. Well, hmm. It's a very versatile cleaning agent that can be used for a lot of our household chores, but distilled white vinegar cannot clean everything. It should not be used on materials such as your marble, your granite, your grout, your electronics, and your rubber, because you're going to have some damage to those things. You don't want that costly damage. Next up is hairspray removes ink stains. I thought about this for a while, and it is true that alcohol works to remove ink. It eliminates stains. But the only thing about this is that our modern hairsprays no longer rely heavily on alcohol as one of its active ingredients. Plus, hairspray leaves behind a sticky residue that can leave a stain. So we wanna use better options. The next myth is that air freshener cleans the air. Mm. Air freshener can perfume the air or mask smelly smells, but air freshener by itself cannot clean the air. What about this one? 
Feather dusters remove dust. What's the answer, guys? No. Feather dusters, they just spread around dust. They don't really hold on to it, so they do not remove dust. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber, please become a new subscriber. Share this video with your friends and your homemakers. Like the video. And until next time, I will see you in the future with another informative video. Love you so much, guys.